Richard Southern joins us from the 680 News Business Center. Turns out fewer people are opting to eat fresh these days. The restaurant chain Subway continues to see declining sales. Yeah, and they're trying to do something to stop those uh, declining store closures, uh, Christina. You know, Subway uh, quickly became the world's largest restaurant franchise, had more locations than McDonald's, more than 27,000 in the U.S. alone at its peak. But now more stores are closing than opening. They closed uh, 2,300 in the last three years alone. The sandwich chain is now instituting a new policy mandating that store owners who opt not to re-sign their lease agreements complete a questionnaire and work and talk to head office. Maybe they'll try and talk them out of it. Unlike McDonald's, Subway doesn't own any restaurants. It relies solely on the fees it collects from franchisees, including an 8% annual fee on all sales. As far, Christina, as what happened to Subway, Maybe they got too big too quickly. Uh, they used to be perceived as healthy, maybe now less so. And they had a spokesperson named Jared Fogel who ended up going to prison. So a lot kind of went wrong for some way. Yeah, that probably didn't work out the best. I mean, it used to be one of my favorite restaurants. So There's a lot of choice now when it comes to quick service restaurants. There so they're not competition. Absolutely is. Now, speaking of slumping sales, there's been a major development in the milk industry. Big side of the times. The number one milk company in North America, Christina, has declared bankruptcy and they're blaming a lack of demand. They're called Dean Foods. They cited a decade-long drop-off in milk consumption as the reason for their Chapter 11 filing. Since 1975, the amount of milk consumed per capita in the States has tumbled 40%. It's the case that consumers started drinking other things, bottled water, soda, what have you. Uh, more recently, there's been a big surge in demand for non-dairy milk, you know, your almond and your soy milk. The other part of the fa reason here is uh, breakfast. People are passing on cereal with uh, covered in, in milk. And so there's a lot of pressures on that dairy industry. And again, seeing one of the biggest names in there, maybe going belly up, looking to sell itself. Well, I could think about that. Even at my house, we've got almond milk, soy milk, and regular milk. So I could see that, you know, a lot of people are probably moving to other More uh, options areas. than ever, Christine. Yeah, always. There's been plenty of skepticism about autonomous vehicles, but Tesla is actively showing off what its autopilot function can really do. I want to show you this tape. So it's uh, Tesla, look at this, swerving to avoid little ducks crossing the road. There wow. wasn't a, per this was not a person driving the car, Christina. This car was driving itself. It's called Tesla Autopilot. It's a feature it has. The car automatically saw those ducks, swerved to avoid them. It's a positive story coming out of Tesla. Autopilot. In the past, we've seen a viral video of people driving down the road. They're literally asleep behind the wheel and the car is driving itself. So there's proof, though, that the technology is working, proof that we're going to see self driving cars in the not too distant future. That's Christina. pretty impressive. Okay, speaking about cars, are we going to see any change at the pumps tonight, Richard? Price of gas going up one cent at midnight, Christina. Stay tuned. Coming up just after 6 30, is baseball fixed? It looks like the World Series may have been rigged. Plus, I check out Italy, a new Italian eatery that's opening here in downtown Toronto. We'll bring you inside coming up on City News. Sounds delicious. Thanks, Richard. Looking forward to that in the Thanks. next hour. Cheers.